What up? It's your boy Puss in Boots. And y'all know what day it is. It is time for another random and weird game Wednesdays. All right, so I know last week was like, I, I feel like we <laughs> kind of reached a threshold of random and weird. I don't know if it's going to get any weirder than that. If you missed it, I'll put a card or something that'll come across the screen or whatever. If you want to watch it, click on that card. It was random and weird as hell. So this week, I said, man, let's try a little something different. This game is called The Test Hypothesis Rising. So apparently from what I understand is this game is going to ask me like questions. And then I answer the questions and then it will give me some kind of result at the end. I don't know, something like that. It looked pretty cool. Uh, a friend of mine has suggested it to me. So uh, yeah, I said, let me check it out. Let me check it out, see what it's talking about, because it kind of looked interesting. I guess it's supposed to be some kind of psychological thing. If you're new to the channel, as always, thank you for stopping by. Checking your boy Puss and Boots out, man. If you have any suggestions for any random and weird games, put them down in the comments below. If I pick it, I'll give you a shout out. Without further ado, put them headphones on. Let's get to the gameplay. Before experiencing the test hypothesis rising, it is highly recommended that you've played its prequel, The Test, first before venturing into this experience. I've never played The Test, so we're just going to roll with it. You will stand to gain a lot more from this experience if you played The Test first. And this examination will also make a bit more sense as it carries on from where the last examination left off. Uh, We're just going to roll with it. I would like to urge you to... Go and play the test now before venturing forward and follow the instructions listed throughout the game as you will certainly get a bigger benefit overall by taking the test in the order they were meant to be taken in. Would you like to close this game now so you can have the opportunity to play the test first? You will not get a chance to exit the game until the experience is over if you choose to continue now. Hmm, what should we do? F it, yeah, let's play the test first. Let's play that one first. And then maybe we'll come back next week and play this one. Let's play the test first. Good choice. Please follow the instructions at the end of the test and then come back here to experience the test. Hypothesis rising. We'll be waiting right here for your return. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but all right. All right, here we are. Uh, I downloaded the test. Uh, apparently, I need to do this one before the other test. I actually hate taking tests. But let's see what this goes. All right. <laughs> Got me a little drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. It's tea. It's tea, people. Relax. I wouldn't be getting drunk on my gameplays. At least not right now. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. What is that? You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Well, I am an honest man. Of course I'll answer them honestly. <clears throat> now, when I say I answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. Mm. Sounds ominous. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? You know what? I think y'all should answer these questions with me. I really do. Y'all should answer these questions with me. I'd like to see your answers down in the comments somewhere. Not all of them, just maybe a few of them. This process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. Simple enough. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your... <laughs> what the hell is this thing talking about? You see? As long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. Really, my own future? Okay. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. Uh, I see what you did there. 
As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. Hmm. Unlock some other parts of my mind? That might be a terrible idea. I have those parts locked away for a reason. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature this is you this is your own mind this is simply nature taking its course this is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within one's within itself just just start asking the damn questions come on now while attempting to answer many of these questions you often wonder things like well this answer depends on the circumstances which i will because i am a very logical and analytical thinker so that is true Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. Are y'all reading these instructions? Because y'all answering them too. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water. Sit back. Relax. And enjoy the experience. We're about to begin with a series of questions, and provided that you're willing to participate, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. <laughs> all right, here we go. <clears throat> Would you be all right with living alone forever? And no. Nah. No. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Yes. I mean, I literally have on blue right now. I mean, blue and black, but if you found money on the street and knew it belonged to and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yes. I'm a man of integrity. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? Sure. Why not? Are you afraid of spiders? Oh, uh, yeah, I'd say I am. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? I knew you would emerge unscathed. Sure, why not? Let's see what's in lava. Would you consider yourself to be fat? Uh, let me see. Not really, no. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? Define lots. We'll just go with, yeah, I think I got a little bit. I got a little bit of charisma, just a tad bit. I mean, at least when I'm writing raps, I do. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? No, why would I ever do that? This is all very interesting. Well, I'm an interesting person. Did you realize that the last letter of the five previous questions <laughs> were put together spelled it? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Here we go with another one of these games. Did th does that make you uncomfortable? I ain't no punk bitch. Does that make me uncomfortable though? Yeah, it makes me a bit uncomfortable. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Hidden puzzles or clues. Sometimes? Sure, why not? Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Dang right I am. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yes, I have. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? That's, that's kind of an odd question to ask. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not, it's a video game. Now, if it say something about me saying, well, no, because it's a video game, then I'll start getting concerned. Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? Were you aware? Yeah, you said there were. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? Sure. Would you consider yourself captivated? Nah, not at all. Very interesting. Oh, he ain't like that. I ain't captivated. He ain't like that. Would you consider yourself to be brave? Depends on the circumstances. 
Sure. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? Yes. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? I'm inquisitive. Yes, I am. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? I didn't until now because the question was asked. I wonder how long this test. Yeah, I have because you just asked me. I am patient. Do most humans annoy you? No, not really. I bet a bunch of y'all answered yes to that question. Do you prefer animals to people? No, I don't. Do you believe in magic? And no, I don't. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? I do believe in God, absolutely. Do you fear death? And no. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship? See, I don't need you or y'all to know the answer to that question, but yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Did you answer that last question yet? Of course, I'm an honest person. Are you alone? Why they wanna know that? Sure. Are you sure? Yeah. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's someone watching you, would you believe me? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Have you wondered who I am? Have I? No, I haven't. Have you, if you, have you had shivers at any point during this session? No. Do you feel like you're being watched? No. Have you considered quitting this session early? No. Hey. I haven't considered it because I am doing a gameplay for Weird Game Wednesdays. So no, I'm not quitting. Do you drink water every day? I do. Do you eat at least once per day every day? I do. I feel like I might be giving this thing a little bit too much information. Do you realize that you missed seven hidden questions? I realize it now. No. Do you realize that you just missed another one? <laughs> See, they try to feed me subliminals. That's what it is. They try to feed me subliminals. Are you wondering what they are? Sure. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? No. I'm okay with you just telling me. Is your favorite number seven? No. I don't, I don't have a favorite number. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? Mmm. That's deep, huh? Life is short, but the longest thing you'll ever do. Mmm. Think on that one. I do agree. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? I mean, they can be compared. No, anything can be compared. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? I don't think I did, no. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? Not everyone. You can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? Sure I do. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? Absolutely I don't. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? What kind of underwater adventures are we talking? Hmm. The first thought that came to my mind was yes. So I'm just going to answer yes. Do you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase I love you? No, I didn't realize that. And I wonder, I'm going to like go back and rewind and actually see if that's really true. I didn't realize that though. Do you wish to be loved? Sure, why not? Everybody wants to be loved. Do you have any addictions? No. Do you dislike the color pink? No, pink is fine with me, whatever. Does the color gray seem depressing? See, now I'm looking at these letters to see if they, you know what I mean? 
spell anything out. Does the color gray seem depressing? No, the gray is all right. Do you enjoy loud music? Sometimes. Hmm. I'm just gonna go with you. Do you like to dance? Uh, no. Would you consider yourself normal? Define normal? What does normal mean? Sure. Do you love your parents? I do. Hi, Mom. She doesn't watch my videos. Have you ever been lied to? Uh, yeah, of course. Do you get angry often? Nah. It takes a lot to get me angry. I mean, a lot. It takes a whole lot to make me mad. I don't get angry often. Do you hold grudges? No, but sometimes I wish I did. Is that bad? <laughs> Is it bad that I wish I sometimes held grudges? Have you ever forgiven someone? Of course. Have you ever lied? Of course. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? I'm gonna go no. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? No, absolutely not. Do you believe you have psychic powers? No, and I wouldn't want psychic powers. Have you ever seen a ghost? In a video game, but no. Do you dream often? I don't, which I know that might be odd, but I don't dream often. Do you have nightmares often? Is he trying to tell me something? Is he trying to tell me something? I don't. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? No. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm at the doctor's office and I am answering like health questions right now. No, I don't suffer from depression. Do you exercise often and stay active? Stay active? Eh, define active. I don't exercise often. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Emotionally wounded. I'm gonna go, yeah. How many of y'all answer that honestly? <laughs> Have you ever felt betrayed? Yeah. Do you ever feel lost in life? Sure. Hasn't everybody felt that at some point or another? Yeah, I might be giving y'all a little bit too much information. I'm gonna start answering these with lies. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a natural leader? Yeah. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? Why would why would I do that? No. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? No. <laughs> Have you ever been bullied? No. Have you ever bullied someone else? No. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? As in having dreams? Or as in, I'm not really sure how to answer that question, but I'm gonna go no. You sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally. Yeah, I do sometimes. You find space fascinating. I actually do. Space is one of the most fascinating things to me. It's just like a wide open, vast space. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be an artist? I used to be. Not so much anymore. <laughs> yes, I'd consider myself to be an artist. Would you consider yourself a 1,000% and any of my friends would tell you the same? Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Extremely flawed. Do you believe in perfection? No. Have you ever stolen from someone? I have. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? Under any? Under any circumstances? Kill someone under any circumstances. Any meaning even self-defense. Sure. If I needed to, I would. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? <laughs> That's kind of a deep question. <laughs> How many of y'all would tell no one if y'all only had, like, I would tell my mom, you know what I mean? My family, close friends. I would, absolutely. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? 
define darkest. I mean, I don't know if I really have any dark secrets, but I mean, sure, I guess. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? I don't trust a damn word you're saying. Nope. Do you know who I am? You're the video game guy. No, I don't. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? As I look into my camera. <laughs> no. If I told you that I've been behind you, would you would that scare you? No. Look at me looking at my camera. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Very. Looking behind my green screen. <laughs> would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Actually, yes. I am a pretty empathetic person. I need to come over this way. This way. This way. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? I guess when I want to be? Sure. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Of course. Are you prone to headaches and migraines? No. Not at all. Do you look at the ground when you walk? I don't. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yeah, I think I just answered a question. No, I didn't. Would you ever shave your head? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you attracted to muscular bodies? Not really. I like bodies kind of soft, you know, like a soft woman. Soft and supple. Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Sure. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Sure. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? Actually, I do. I remember some stuff from my childhood. Like, how do I even remember that? Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? Of course not. <laughs> do you ever dream about running from a killer? Uh, do I ever dream about that? Not really. No. Falling off a cliff? No. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? No. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? I do enjoy scary movies. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Sure. Do you like being the center of attention? Okay, so actually that is one thing I hate is being the center of attention. Like when I'm out with the homies, we out kicking it. I like to kind of chill in the background. I do not like being in the center of attention or like if we having like a game night or something, there's a lot of people around. No, nah, I like being in the background. I don't like being the center of attention. Thought I heard something in the hallway. Do you feel like something is always watching you? No. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? I have. Have you ever had an out of, out of body experience? No. Have you ever punched a nun? <laughs> That's random. <laughs> no. I don't think I ever even met a nun. Do you like dogs better than cats? Absolutely, I do. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? I actually prefer to watch movies. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you ever punched a nun? I actually am. Do you get starstruck easily? Not at all. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Do I hate it? No, I don't have a problem with those. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? Nah, it's rare that I receive presents anyway. Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? Like really? Just bam, right in the kisser. Nun punch. No, I've never punched a nun. Did you laugh? I should lie and say no, but I am an honest person. I did laugh. Did you say what the F in your head or even louder? No, I didn't. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun? <laughs> Why is this thing so obsessed with punching a nun? I don't get it. If there is a hell, do you think you're going to it? No, I am saved by the blood of Jesus. Thank you. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Sure. Do you masturbate frequently? 
not frequently enough. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? I am. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? No, not at all. Hey, we all grown around here. We're comfortable with sexual talk. Is your mouth dry? It isn't. I've got tea. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? No. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? I do not. Are you poor with money management? I am not poor with money management. Actually, I'm very good with money. Sometimes too good. Like I never spend money. That can be a bad thing. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? I hate math. Do you speak more than one language fluently? <laughs> no. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? I have. Good times up in Paris and Germany. Do you enjoy coffee? I can't stand coffee. And the thing about coffee is it makes your breath smell terrible. Like I know quite a few people who drink coffee, especially them people in corporate offices. And boy, does their breath stink often. And it stains your teeth. Do you enjoy coffee? I don't. Do you believe in demons? Do I believe they exist? Sure, yeah, they exist. Do you believe in angels? I do. Are you afraid of sharks? Hell yes. <laughs> do you prefer baths over showers? Nah, let me get that good shower, homie. Like with baths, like I feel like you land in your own filth. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? No. Now I'm looking again at these letters to see if they spell something. <laughs> Did you see that shadow move in your room a few moments ago? Was it my shadow? It may have been mine. No. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? No. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? No. Unless it's like socks in the dryer. Do you hear footsteps around you when you're alone? Sometimes. Well, no. Those aren't footsteps. That's just my creaky house. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? No. You often look at the same time on the clock every day. Hmm. No? <laughs> Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? No. Do you have any pets? I do not. Is your favorite color green? I don't have a favorite color. Are you attracted to a family member? <laughs> what? <laughs> attracted to like what? No. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Of course. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? Nah, I'm straight. Now nah, I am looking around, you know what I mean? Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in... Who would wonder that? No! I've been locked up in a holding cell once and didn't even like that. Do you like fishing? I do. Do you like hunting? Never been. So I can't really answer yes or no. But I'm just going to go with no since I've never been. Do you like camping? This is one of those that depends on the circumstances. Sure. Do you like guns? I do. Are you getting tired of answering questions? I am. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Define kinky. I'm gonna say no. Eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? Sure, why not? Do you always keep your promises? I don't. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? Uh, would you ever completely trust someone? Probably not, no. Are you an only child? I am not. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? I do. Do you like tattoos? I'd like more. Do you enjoy being high in any form? I do not, nah. 
being high is not my thing. Do you believe you have a soul? Sure. Did you cry this week? <laughs> not this week. <laughs> Are you upset with someone right now? No. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? No. <laughs> Do you understand how this works yet? I don't. If you answer the questions twice, your truths must may ch if you answer the questions twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them. The combination you answer them in is about it's about many different variables you never guessed. Do you understand? Sure, why not? Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? Yes. Is this going to have like a jump scare at the end? If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that Bob is using this is just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe? No, I wouldn't. Are you afraid of being abandoned? No. Are you afraid of dying alone? Hmm. Sure, I might be afraid of dying alone. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No. <laughs> Are you always on guard waiting to fend off an attack? No. But now that you're asking, I left my gun in the other room. Dead coming. Do you feel like I know you yet? Absolutely not. Have you heard any strange noises? Well, I have. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answer honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answer quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. Okay? I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Yes, you. And? Based on what you told me, this is what I can conclude. Wow. You sure managed to paint a vivid picture here, haven't you? <laughs> what? You can be described as a lot of things, but one major issue you have is blatant. You're insecure. Oh man, they didn't tell me I'm insecure. <laughs> you don't easily trust people, but you don't trust in yourself and that is the biggest flaw of all. Why? Okay, wait, what? <laughs> you don't easily trust people, but you don't trust in yourself and that is the biggest flaw of all. Why? because you're beautiful. You don't even see it, do you? You don't even understand just how magnificent you truly are. This game is giving me like uh, self-esteem now <laughs> and making me feel good about myself. If you could see yourself the way others see you, you'd have all the confidence. Okay, so there is slightly some truth to that. There is definitely slightly some truth to that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. Every time someone says something nice to you, you make up an excuse as to why it isn't true. Mm, I'm not sure if I'm rolling with that. Every time someone, some, every time someone says not something negative about you, you take it to heart and it stings. Not really sure about that either. The people who are saying nice things are not saying them to make you feel better. They're saying them because they're true. The people who talk shit are doing it not because it's accurate, but because they're even more insecure than you are. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> they can't handle just how bright you shine, inside and out. They can't handle how much potential you have and how much potential they lack. It burns them to the core and they lash out at you for it. This is really interesting. Just trust me on this. <clears throat> Stop doubting yourself, in capital words. Uh, put the haters to rest and live your damn life. That way you know you should. Or live your damn life the way you know you should. You can be happy while they cry into their pillows at night. That's not your problem. You're a star, you just don't know it. Your secret word is love. Remember this word, this will come in handy. That is interesting. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. 
we will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in the future project. Okay, so I think this game is kind of old. So, yeah, I don't think that really matters at this point. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be a part of history. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to uh, be a part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and we always read through them thoroughly. You know, I actually do the same on my YouTube channel. I actually read every single comment on my YouTube channel. Is that weird? And then like the comments that address me directly, like I respond to practically all of them. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. What was my secret word? Love? I'm gonna keep that in mind for when we play the next one on next week, Weird Game Wednesday. All right, folks, that is the end of this random and weird game Wednesday. And actually, this was pretty good. I can't front y'all. This is uh, very different than the usual games I play. You know what I'm saying? First person shooters, scary games, all that kind of crap. This was actually pretty good. This was actually pretty cool, pretty good. Am I insecure? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> now look, now I'm about to go, you know, hide in the corner somewhere and do some introspection. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> All right, so next week we uh, probably gonna come back and play the second one that I had actually planned on playing and uh, see where that goes. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. This is pretty interesting. So stay tuned for next week's episode of Random and Weird Game Wednesdays where we'll be playing the second part of this. As always, thank y'all for stopping by, checking your boy Puss and Boots out. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out this piece. Deuces!